Yeah. Yeah, we got one. We got one. The yellow one. The yellow can has diesel. That's the tree I cut down with a sword. And the, the little John Deere tractor wouldn't take it out for the life of it. We tried running over it, we tried digging it up, it just wasn't doing it. So we could take it out with this. But the, you never know, crazy shit happens. This would be one of those things where that tractor won't take it out. Who knows? Or, or it will. in there. That's too easy. You never know, man. <laughs> if we didn't have that camera here, it would have broken the tractor. Probably. Are those speakers up there? Lights. That's a different tractor. Those are different lights. The other tractor. Yeah. I don't want to push it all the way across the yard. We'll pick it up from there. Yeah, that's what we can get it from there. We can drag it with the other one if we have to. James came out. He, he was on the tractor probably 20 hours this weekend. And we had the track that S stepped through here. And then they cut a swath all the way behind these trees. And it runs wide open. There's a couple places you got to really slow down for trees. We didn't want to knock any big trees down. We've, we've removed so many already, we wanted to keep the big ones. So then he, back in the back, cut through, and it S's back and forth ten times. There's a couple jumps. And then it comes back through here, and there's a, a section of whoops, and there's a good jump where you actually jump up out of there onto the top in front of these trees. And it kicks down. And then there's a jump right there by the phone pole. You can see the crest of it. And then it immediately comes back in these trees. And then there's a big ass uphill. But it comes through a, a berm, so you can't really get a jump. Like it comes up, but you can't get any air. And then you rip across here to that jump. But we're going to have to bring in, to make the jumps the way they need to be, especially for the razors, we're going to need two or three truckloads of dirt for each jump. So we're going to have that brought in. Um, they're going to come pick this dozer up. The track is completely connected. You can run the whole entire track now without having to run through the grass or turn any other places. Um, but in a couple weeks, once we got everything else done, we'll start bringing uh, loads of um, dirt in to make the jumps with. And for the razor, the jump needs to be at least twice the size of the razor. Otherwise, like when you hit it right now, it's fine for a motorcycle, but when you hit it on the razor, it kicks the ass end up. So by the time you're in the air, your front end's already down, which it's just not as fun, and it definitely you don't get any good pictures doing it that way. But James got out here a couple, um, couple runs on the bike on Cody's T50 and ran through it, and he was happy with it. It's basically laid out. Now we've got to uh, groom it. We've got some berms. The, big, the berms need to be a lot bigger, a lot, lot bigger, just so you don't overshoot them. What are they coming? We don't know. You can go ahead and you can go ahead and run it if you want to. Don't get muddy. It's a hundred and twenty. It's a hundred and twenty-five dollar cleanup fee. It is worth paying the hundred and twenty-five dollars not to have four dudes out here clean. It costs more for us to clean it than to just pay them to clean it themselves. How much fuel does that hold? I don't know. It's down to a quarter of a tank. So. We'll send somebody to go get some more. That's fine. Okay. 
What kind of dirt do we need for the jump? Like we brought in up here. That so cow just out of that cow, cow pasture shit? That clay. Yeah, it's got a lot of clay in it. Should we mix concrete in with it? Muddy Creek? That's what we did in, in San Diego. I can see that on that sand. Like in a lot of sand, you would have to. That canyon mm -hmm. shit. Looks like over sand pits, that stuff where it changes every time you go over it. I hate sand. Yeah, clay, I was surprised how much fucking sand's out here. So what do we take the same shit? And, Cause that whole straight sand. Yeah. Put mix this shit in with it, till it. Yeah. The next time we have that dozer, we need to open all those trails enough that we can put a water truck through there. All them down through here. Yeah. I mean, we can get a little tow behind, but it ain't gonna do shit. We shouldn't worry about water till probably spring now. We'll be start getting a bunch of rain. <laughs> we'll be worried about trying to dry it up. You can get your water bump up. We, well, we can buy a water truck. Yeah. For six to ten grand, you can buy a water truck yeah. that you can pump water yeah. from. So it wouldn't be bad to have a fire plant anyways. Yeah. I was gonna talk to them about what it takes to actually put a fire hydrant on the property. We got we got a two inch coming in over here. Uh, uh, All right, I don't, there's nothing going on. I was just every time we don't have the camera goes, there's something fucking crazy that happens. Did you get a haircut? Yes, I did. That's good. Thank you. Keep rolling. We'll see what they say. There was a, a mobile. Up at the other building. Been seeing a lot of them lately, which I don't have a problem with until they just being at the other building, you know, there's nobody there very often, so we just keep on top of that. Well, yeah, hobo camped out on the front porch. Really? Yeah. We're getting ready to move in. There's a dude in a ditch in the woods? Yeah, apparently Curtis says he knows them, that they hobo together. <laughs> so, did he have like a fucking stick with a... No, but he had BDU pockets that were packed full. It was more like, it was less hobo, more like James Rambo. What was he pulling yeah, his pockets Jay. back full of? I don't know, when we pulled up, he's going over a fucking, a very detailed map of Canada. For real? Like a gridded off fucking full-blown fucking like reconnaissance. He was going through the cigarette box. Like fire service guy? Maybe. I mean, you know, anybody can wear BDU. I see yeah. him all the time. I even told you about him one day when I went up to the bank. You talked to him? Just, what you doing? Hey, you can't be here? <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't mess around. He went through the went through the cigarette butt can and then hoofed it down. Oh, he was on our front porch at the show shop. Yeah, front porch show shop. But there's still a bunch of shit unsecured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't, the only... The Lance Manning house. That's the only thing that's not secure. Well, it's locked. It's not locked. The door's not locked, but nobody's been in. How's the door not locked? I don't guess they fixed it before they left. No, that's not. Uh, okay. That's not. That Lance bought a home uh, okay. on the river. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm, yeah, not, talking not, about that. I'm talking about the haunted the house on the hill. Because yeah. there's still a bunch of his shit in there, yeah. too. I think he's got some bicycles and bullshit in there. There's the eight bikes there going in there. So. That door is not locked? That door Were you not able to lock it? I didn't know if I should. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, didn't want to lock it without I didn't lock it just because I didn't know. We'll go over there today as soon as the drizzle lets up and pull some shit off the porch and start getting that stuff cleaned up anyways. And we'll lock it at that point. You should be able to lock it and just close it. But yeah, there's. I, I'm pretty sure there was a thing on the knob, but I didn't want to lock yeah, it. Yeah, and there's a, there's a deadbolt too. The keys are on my desk at the other building. Were you able to guess up? Yeah, you know why we there's a the padlock on there? It's the same as the ignition key. Oh. The padlock is a caterpillar cat padlock. Hey, help him get the get that shit out of there. Yeah, right, I gotta get it off four or five more.